Hi everyone. Right now I'm doing a morning hike inside a nature park. Great. I'm going to start this video with my face out of focus. And well, there's this problem again. When using this device in bright sunlight, it's difficult to see the screen and I couldn't tell if my face was in focus. So now I have to go back another day and re-record this scene so that I'm in focus again. All right, so what I was trying to say in that last bit that was out of focus is that for this video, I'm going to compare the F2.0 and F4.0 aperture on the Sony Xperia Pro I. Right now, this is F2.0. It's not as sunny and bright as last time, so I'm able to see the display and make sure that I am in focus this time. Now, this is F4.0. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some pictures and videos using both apertures and let's see if there is a difference in sharpness and background blur between the two apertures. I've pointed out in my videos before that I really don't think there is a difference. It's more for controlling the brightness to the sensor and I'm feeling that maybe I could be wrong. There might be a difference between the two for sharpness and background blur. All right. Enough of me talking and uh, let's get this started. The majority of the pictures in this video are going to be JPEGs straight from the 24mm main sensor. When you see a pair of pictures of the same scene, the picture on the left hand side will be the f2.0 aperture and the one on the right hand side will be the f4.0 aperture. comes to videos, the one on the left hand side will be the f2.0 aperture and the one on the right hand side will be the f4.0 aperture. This is the f2.0 aperture. I'm going to be using auto mode for the videos and the pictures. Here we go again, not even five minutes into using this Sony Xperia Pro-I and I'm already getting overheating warnings. Oh my goodness. So this is f4.0. And for the audio, I'm going to be using a Rode SmartLab Plus lapel microphone with a wind muff on it.
I was trying to get a video of this scene right here, but I just got a warning saying, or I just got a notice saying the Videography Pro app is going to shut down. I'm getting frequent overheating warnings. As you can see from this photo, I am using the Sony Bluetooth grip with the Sony Xperia Pro I. I did have the camera endurance mode on, and despite this notice telling me I could keep recording even with the device overheated, it just didn't let me do that. It just shut down the Video Pro app, and well, I just couldn't keep recording. Don't continuously hold the device in your hand or on person. So, I always bring this up in my videos. This is so frustrating. How can I vlog? What if this is my only camera that I brought out to do some vlogging and pictures and this keeps happening to me? Good thing I have my other camera as a backup in my backpack. Do you think if I keep blowing on the extra pariah, it's going to cool it down? I'm literally stuck here waiting for this to cool down just so I can get this shot from the Videography Pro app. I've been waiting here for probably three minutes now and I still can't use the Videography Pro app. I'm taking a break right now inside an Okinawan garden. Uh, it's about 11 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's pretty hot. You can see the sweat coming off of my face. This is the F2.0 aperture. I hope you can hear me. It's pretty loud right now. I switched over to the F4.0 aperture. Have you seen any difference in sharpness or background blur between the two apertures? I've seen it in some of the photos, uh, so hopefully you can too. I'm trying to catch it in the video if there's a difference in background blur between the two apertures. Wow, this is really loud. This is really loud. These are insects that are making this noise. So I'm trying to make my way up to a waterfall and I will do the pictures and videos on a tripod of the waterfall. All right, I'm gonna get going now. This is the f2.0 aperture right now. From that last scene, the Xperia Pro I just shut down. It, it just kept giving overheating warnings and eventually I couldn't use the Videography Pro app and the device just shut down. It looks like it might rain here a little bit. I'm starting to feel some raindrops, but good thing this setup is water resistant, waterproof. I don't know, not like my ZV-E10. I did bring the ZV-E10 along and I was gonna do some footage, but it looks like I won't be able to do it today. Because of the overheating issues with the device right now, for now, I'll just take pics. And then when I reach the waterfall, I'll switch to the Videography Pro app and do some video.
All right, I reached the waterfall. It's kind of loud here. I hope you can hear me. It looks like the exterior pro eye has cooled down and it's a little bit cooler here. So hopefully there won't be any overheating issues with this device. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison of pictures and videos with both apertures in this area. So you can see if there's a difference. And uh, let's get this going. This stairs keeps going up and up and up. I don't know when it's going to end. I was expecting this hike to be short. It's been about two hours now. Forgot to bring water. That's a big mistake. Uh, starting to feel a little bit of early dehydration. My mouth is dry. But hopefully I can get uh, to this main waterfall soon. Looks like no more stairs. Ugh, looks like a half concrete, half trail type path. I'm guessing the temperature here right now is definitely below 30 degrees Celsius. And this is something I pointed out numerous times. I think you're okay with the Xperia Pro I for a long duration shooting if the temperatures are below 30 degrees Celsius. So I'm pretty happy I can finish up this vlog the only thing that I'm kind of concerned about is the uh, battery life. And my goodness, this path just keeps going. Oh, this is the F2.0 aperture. All right, this is the F.0 aperture. And it looks like this hill has become a decline. So that's good news. I can rest for a little bit. Just need to watch my step while I'm vlogging. It's not very safe. Oh! <laughs> and I just said I need to watch my step while vlogging. Yeah, I better stop this. It's not safe. It's too slippery here. Okay, I think I see something. Here we go. Oh yes. There is the waterfall. Right. Nice. Oh, what? I think that's how you get to it. Right here. Look at that. That's the end.
Oh, I'm getting tired. I think this hike is about to reach three hours and I probably have another hour to head on back. So I'm gonna finish up this video. Please leave in the comments if you did notice a difference in sharpness and background blur between the two apertures. I did see a difference in some of the pictures, but a little bit more difficult in the videos. I will, I will check on my uh, monitor when I get back to my place to see if there's a difference uh, in video mode. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button, subscribe if you want to. Until next time, stay safe, keep learning, aloha. I had just finished doing this video and was walking back and this heavy rain just came out of nowhere and I'm being soaked right now. And thank goodness I did this video with the Sony Xperia Pro I and not my ZV-E10 because I don't think that camera can handle rain like this.